Welcome back. In this video, we will learn about protecting data in S3. Data protection refers to protecting data while in transit. What it means, protecting data as it travels to and from Amazon S3. Data protection also refers to protecting data at rest. What it means, protecting data while data is stored on AWS data centers. You can protect data in transit and at rest on S3. You can protect data in transit using SSL or client-side encryption. To protect data at rest in Amazon S3, you can use server-side encryption and client-side encryption. Now let's talk about S3 handling of encryption in transit. Amazon S3 exposes HTTP endpoint, which is not encrypted, and HTTPS, which provides encryption in transit. Encryption in flight is also called SSL. You are free to use either HTTP or HTTPS endpoint. However, HTTPS endpoint is recommended. HTTPS is mandatory for server-side encryption by customers who use their own data keys and management of keys outside of AWS. When it comes to encryption at rest on S3, there are four methods of managing encrypting objects at rest on S3. SSES3. SSES3 is server-side encryption with Amazon S3 managed keys. In this, S3 objects are encrypted using keys that are handled and managed by S3. Next is SSEKMS. SSEKMS is server-side encryption with AWS KMS. It leverages AWS KMS to encrypt and decrypt S3 objects at rest. Next is SSEC. This is server-side encryption with client-managed keys. You use this when you want to manage your own encryption keys, while S3 manages the encryption process. In this server-side encryption, data keys are fully managed by the customer outside of AWS Amazon S3 does not store the encryption key provided by customers. And the last one is client-side encryption. In client-side encryption, clients must encrypt data themselves before sending it to S3, and clients must decrypt data themselves when retrieving from S3. Let's see now each of them in a little detail. SAC S3 is the server-side encryption with Amazon S3 managed keys. This encryption method of encrypting S3 objects uses keys that are handled and managed by Amazon S3. The object is encrypted on the server side using AS256 symmetric encryption. The HTTP request must have a custom HTTP header field. The header field contains XAMZ server side encryption as a key and AS256 as a value. Next is SSEKMS. In this encryption method of encrypting S3 objects, keys are handled and managed by KNS. This AWS key management system offers you centralized control over the cryptographic keys to protect your data. The service is also integrated with CloudTrail, which allows you to audit. For example, who used which keys on which resources and when. The object is encrypted on the server side using AS256 symmetric encryption. The HTTP request must have custom HTTP header field. The header field contains XAMZ server side encryption as a key and AWS key MS as a value. Now let's see SSEC. The SSEC method uses server-side encryption using data keys that are fully managed by the customer outside of AWS Amazon S3 does not store the encryption key that you provide. In this method, HTTPS must be used and an encryption key must be provided in HTTP headers for every HTTP request. And the final one is the client-side encryption. In the client-side encryption, clients must encrypt data themselves before sending it to S3 and clients must decrypt data themselves when retrieving from S3. The customer fully manages the keys and encryption cycle. Client libraries such as the Amazon S3 encryption client is used. 